you think that you're the only person in the world feeling this way, you're not. If you have something about yourself that's different, you're lucky. Thank you. Now, do you know Dwayne? Have you met? I love you too. I have. I've never met Dwayne The Rock oh, Johnson never met. before. Have, this is awesome. Have you ever been to a wrestling event? Um, actually, no. No. <laughs> See, I was like, I was always the little kid where like my cousins would be like watching wrestling at Thanksgiving, and I was like hiding behind the couch, like covering my <laughs> eyes and ears. I was a very sensitive little kid. Uh, I was always like, that's scary, but you're not scary. No, so. no, right? You cool? You seem very nice. <laughs> Thank you, you too. Congratulations on everything. Thank yeah. you. Welcome. Thank you, you too. Thank you. Now tell us about, uh, <laughs> tell us about Entertainer of the Year. That's a, it's a terrific honor. That's pretty amazing. Oh, I, I'm still really just blown away and, yeah. and so excited that the fans have been so nice to me. Um, the fact that it was fan voted just makes me so happy and um, whenever I talk about it I do like weird stuff with my hands yeah, I, I don't know why that one. I'm just because I'm excited <laughs> about it still it's just been a really good week and like I we came back from our tour in Europe mm -hmm. and Asia and we had one day in Nashville and Nashville's where I live I love it more than anywhere in the world and one of the reasons for that is because in Nashville country music award shows are like the Super Bowl yeah so I was like, I, of course, I was out and about on my day off, and I was like, go get coffee and go get lunch and go get dinner. And everywhere I would go, somebody would like tap me on the shoulder and be like, good luck, Tater. You bring it home this weekend. You bring it home. <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> like it's some sort of state championship football oh, thing or something. And I was like, this is why I love this town, because like, they know the award show's coming up. Like, it's a big deal. Yeah. And, and it's a really big deal for me, too, so I was really happy that the fans were so nice to me this year. Now, I remember last time we talked about the number 13. That, that's sort of your lucky number. Did that appear anywhere prior to winning the award? You don't see yes. it? Yes. Uh, oh, okay, okay. It Tell did. Me. Okay. So how did this happen? Okay, well, I have this really lucky number, 13. Mm -hmm. I was born on the 13th, and we've talked about all the million ways that 13 kind of presents itself when right. um, good things are about to happen. Mm -hmm. Sort of like a good omen. And... Um, well, the, the night of the award show, um, they were announcing the nominees for, I think, Album of the Year, and I was sitting there watching, and they showed Kenny Chesney right. a, a video of his when they were announcing him as a nominee. And as they're playing a clip of his video, it shows, like, a football player running towards the screen with, like, a 13 on his Ooh. jersey. Yeah. And I was like, is it, is it, is that good? And it, it, it ended up being good. Yeah, well, not for Kenny, but yeah, for you. <laughs> <laughs> For him, it's his unlucky number. <laughs> now, I understand you discovered your plan B. Let, let's suppose this whole thing didn't work out. Yeah. And, and it just didn't happen for you. You found something else you can do. Right? I did. Yeah? Tell us. Haircutting. Haircutting, yeah. <laughs> because we were on the tour for two months in countries where we didn't really, like... Like they, don't, like, they don't speak English, and right. we're kind of in, living in a state of confusion, and it was great confusion because the fans are awesome, but, like, like I, just, you're on the road, and you get bored, and you spend a lot of time in dressing rooms, right. and so um, one day my backup singer was like, I feel like I need to do something drastically different, and I was like, yeah, why don't you cut your hair? And she's like, let's do it now. <laughs> and so we're just kind of delirious from the road, and so I'm like, uh, I get scissors, and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. But she wanted full bangs. Right, okay. And I'm just like, I have no training. I'm the last person you should, should, should suggest to cut your hair, but, like, I, I cut her hair. And it worked out okay? It did. She looked awesome. Yeah. And so I started cutting all the people on the road's hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a picture of how her hair turned. Oh, well, that looks good. Doesn't it look nice? <laughs> I think it looks good. It it's looks like, good. It's like she looks like all, all hipster. I took that yeah, on my phone, yeah. so... Well, you know, that's what happened with Wayne originally. Yeah. Well, somebody started his uh, I, like <laughs> <laughs> I wanted full bangs, too. And, then I just, you know. <laughs> and, and I, and I, uh, oh, here's another picture I want to ask you about. This was taken just the other day. You're at Target right yeah. here in, uh, in Burbank. So, so what's, what's the story there? What were you looking for? Um, Are you a big Target shopper? Well, I, I'm spending a few weeks out in L.A. because I have, like, video shoots and right, stuff to right. do. So I needed to go buy a record player. A record player. Yeah, and they have really good ones at Target. Oh, okay, all right. And um, <laughs> I didn't say they sold record players anymore. They do. See, that's my generation. They do, but, yeah. and and yeah. Um, 
I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of music on vinyl lately, and like okay. we released my it record better, on vinyl. Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yes, yes, it does, and it makes it an, like an event. Right. Like you go to a record store and you like buy a record, and then you're listening to it, and you and it stops, and you're like, oh, we've got to flip it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know, you know, my, 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 I had a, a buddy of mine brought his kids to my garage. The kids were like seven and eight, and I have an old Mustang. And one of the kids went, Dad, look at this. You turn this crank, and the window goes up. Look at that. And they, <laughs> and they just spent the day putting the, look at it, cool. They just spent the day putting the window up and down. They, they just Aww, thought it was the most amazing thing. It is. So what type of music do you like when, when you're, when you're, not writing and performing your own music. What do you, who do you listen to? What do you like? I listen to everything. Right now, I'm listening to a lot of like 50 Cent, 50 Cent. and Nicki Minaj, okay. and okay. Carrie Hilson, and um, and like Rihanna. And okay, very I'm cool. I'm listening to a lot of like rap, hip hop music right now. Right. Okay. <laughs> now I want to ask you something. I enjoy your, uh, your your Cover Girl commercials that you do. Oh, the thank you. The ones where the wind's always blowing. You know, I love those. <laughs> <laughs> those were fun. Like, I love working with Cover Girl because they're all like. They're all so sweet and so nice, and like, they even have like a very like relaxing way of talking. Yeah. All of them, and so they were describing to me the commercial, and they're like, "What we're gonna do is it's gonna be very beautiful with gorgeous billowy flowing fabrics, and and then you're going to be soaring through the air. And don't worry, we've got a leaping coach for you. A leaping coach." <laughs> I, and they, they delivered on that. And the guy comes in and teaches you to leap. I had a legitimate leaping coach for wow. that commercial. Wow, very cool. Those leaps are legit. And, like... did, they... <laughs> and, did, they... and did they really do this? Come on, baby, give me, baby, give me a smile, baby. Give me, did they give me, did they... it's the guy when he works the camera that they do it. <laughs> Maybe they don't do that. Uh, all right, forget that. What is, so tell me, <laughs> tell me the secret. What? What is the secret to a good leap? Could, could you teach me to leap? Is that something? <laughs> could you teach Dwayne and I? <laughs> well, I mean, it's... <laughs> Dwayne, stand up. Okay. Real quickly, give okay. us... Real quickly, we gotta go... Well, first of all, I was still laughing at your, your photo shoot impression. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Oh no, why am I doing this? I this don't is going to be horrible. <laughs> okay, well, they're like, you know, I had, of course, billowy, gorgeous fabric okay, okay, okay. Um, that I was supposed to go out in front of me, you and it was the, the as the fabric is coming down, you like, oh no, how do you do it? You do like, you do like, That's it, Jake. like, step, 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 leap. Yes! Very good. Very good. Thank you, Carla. Be right back with Fitz and the Tantrums right after this. See, in many days, you give them all you got and they throw you away. I stick it to the man is looking at you, kid. Stick it to the man is looking at you, kid. I never fail.